I made this wooden bridge for my son's wooden train set using a wine box and some scrap wood. Here's how I did it. I started by laying out some Brio train tracks that I've had around for my entire life, and I put them on top of a reclaimed piece of pine that I got from Free on Craigslist. Then I took one side of an old wine box, and I cut it to the right length, and then I cut it into two pieces of the same width. I drove a couple screws through the two pieces so that they would stay in the exact same place the entire time. I then drew out what I thought looked like a truss bridge by drawing out a bunch of triangles and spaced them out equally across the entire piece. When I had a design that I thought looked pretty good, I went over it again in pencil to make the lines nice and dark. I then needed to remove the material in between all of the trusses, so I took a big drill bit and I made some holes to fit a coping saw into. I had never actually used a coping saw this way before to make an interior cut inside a material, but I actually found that it was kind of a pain, so I just did the first triangle this way and then I cleaned it out with a rasp. I decided I wanted to use my power jigsaw instead, and for that I needed to make the holes larger. I also filled in the insides of the triangles to make it clear what part had to be cut out and which did not. I then took my power jigsaw and pretty much just went to town, and I found that it was a lot easier than using the coping saw. I cleaned out the insides with a rasp. I then drew a little space at the top of each triangle for where each crossbeam would go. Using a Japanese pull saw, I cut out little notches for each crossbeam. And then I used a chisel to remove the rest of that material. And I cleaned up those notches using a rasp as well. Using the pull saw, I cut out some crossbeams from the rest of the wine box. I cut the crossbeams to the right length, and then I sanded down the face of the truss bridge a little bit. I used some wood glue to attach the tracks to the bed of the bridge, and also attach them to some tracks where the track forks to make sure that they're spaced correctly. I wanted to use some screws from underneath the bridge to make sure that the tracks would stay in place, but the whole painter's tape method of making sure that the drill didn't go too far kind of failed me, because I actually ended up drilling all the way through the tracks. I used a little bit of sandpaper to clean up the inside of the trusses. I don't have a palm router, so I used a fixed base router to clean off the edges with a little roundover bit. And then it was time for yet more sanding. And I also had to round over the inside of the trusses too. I pre-drilled some holes, and then I screwed the sides of the bridge into the base. Then it was time to attach the cross beams using some wood glue. So I realized that I'm unfortunately not always using my tools the way that they're supposed to be used, but nonetheless, here I'm using my router with a flush trim bit to cut the cross beams down so that they're flush to the side of the bridge. I also kind of have a bad habit of getting impatient as I'm getting close to the end of the project. So here, I'm just taking some scrap pine and cutting up some stanchions to hold the bridge up off the floor. And then I drove some screws through the tracks, through the base, into the stanchions, and the bridge was finished. The last step was to get the seal of approval from the chief engineer. He gave it a thumbs up.